Okay. Hello, my name is Thomas Richardson, and I'm here for the abundance, following my highest passion. I hope it's not anxiety. Anyway, I'm making a response video to the Bashar Communications official copyright policy video. I think some of you have seen it. Uh, I gotta admit, I'm a little bit perplexed about it. I'm a little bit in awe about it. I invite you like-minded individuals to comment with me here on YouTube on the comment section. I understand the Daryl Anka's point, okay? You know, Daryl Anka has a business to run, he has infrastructure, he has employees, and all that costs money, so I, I can understand him. But Bashar, Bashar aspect, I, I found it, uh, I hate to say it, but I found it kind of petty. Uh, Bashar, you are on a spaceship, brother, in Sedona, X amount of miles, and you're coming down. Your spaceship is intelligent, okay? You are telepathically communicating with everybody in your planet, other beings from other planets, and several people on this planet, and you're telling me you're keeping tabs on who's watching shared YouTube videos? I'm sorry. And now you're telling me I'm out of line, man, with the whole Sasani race? Holy shit. First of all, okay, for example, for example, this, this YouTube video right here, okay? Bashar and Abundance and Trusting What Is, okay? It's by New Realities. It was put nine years ago. It has 513,000 plus views. It's a six-minute video. Back in 2013, that video blew my mind, okay? Out of those 500,000... 100, 200 of those views are mine. I used to watch that video every day, every two days. Uh, I still watch it every, every month, at least once a month. And it's still very juicy in content and philosophy or physics. It's, still, it's just physics. And I love it. Now, I don't know if you have a deal with them, whatever, but if that, if that guy didn't have permission to put that on there, that, that video helped me out a lot. That hit video helped me out a lot. And you're telling me now that I, since I've been watching that video, I am actually out of line with the whole Esasani race? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I won't do it again. I love Bashar. I'm a huge Bashar fan. I love the message. I synchronistically discovered Bashar on the 21st of December 2012. Can you believe that? The end of the world. Remember that? That's the day I first heard about it. My mom told me, she goes, hey, I came across this, these, this, this teacher, and, da, 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 and I checked it out, and man, it blew my mind. I gotta tell you, the whole, uh, you know, his real core things about following your passion, the four laws of existence, and abundance, that blew my mind and with the science fiction aspect of you know I'm, I'm an extraterrestrial and we're coming soon and this is the true this is the true your history and the hybrid children and man I, I it blew my mind it blew my mind which by the way the science the science fiction aspect of the Bashar which I love and it's really cool it's really the weakest aspect of his teaching right I mean because it's really cool and all but that really can't help you at the four laws of existence, and by the way, I do think it's four laws, not five. I, I think that the second law is just redundant. And I like to keep things simple and juicy, baby. But uh, the abundance, uh, do, uh, the ability to do what you want to do when you need to do it, uh, that you can't change the reflection on the, on the mirror, uh, you know, and the law, the, the follow your highest passion. That, that is unbelievably, uh, it, even though it's been said before with follow your bliss and all that, but the way Bashar puts it and how he lays it out for you, I think it's the, his aggressive manner, his, uh, his confident manner, his there's no doubt uh, vibe. Uh, you know, it's, not, it's like he doesn't even call it philosophy, he just calls it physics. I mean, this is what's really going on, and, and it just blew my mind. That's the aspect of Bashar that I like, the stuff that you can use, the stuff that you can put in your heart and go, okay, this is true, man, this resonates. One of the big messages of Mishar is it is not the messenger. Well, that's a big aspect, baby. You are not, don't worry that I am an extraterrestrial being and that, uh, and that I'm telepathically coming. Don't worry, it's about the message. I really truly believe in it.
And I believe in Jesus, too, and I believe in Buddha, and I believe in, in Eckhart Tolle, I believe in Wayne Dyer, I believe in Abraham Hicks, I believe in Daniel Scratton, I believe in Dolores Cannon, bring it on, man, I love all that crazy bad shit. And I love you, man, I love everybody, I invite like-minded individuals to come, let's talk about it. Thank you very much, my name is Thomas Richardson, and uh, I'm here for the abundance.